time it's you. Long time no see. Hey, Layla. It's good to see you. Hey, so isn't this the place your family's old diner used to be? Oh, wow. I'm surprised you remember. So your family's old greasy spoon finally went out of business? I'm glad I broke up with you. Well, you're kind of right. It did go out of business. But I think there's something you don't know about this place. Uh-huh. Trouble Busters! Alan, I want you so bad. Whoa! What are you saying all of a sudden? We're just friends! Who cares about that? I want to get my hands on you no matter what. I can't think of anyone else but you. Please, please say yes. Or maybe you don't like me? Of course I like you, but it's just, um, you and I are, well, I haven't really thought about it, and... Hold it right there. Alan, I'm in love with you. Please be my boyfriend. Since when has my life become a romantic comedy? I'm Alan. I'm a college student who loves my family's restaurant. When I turned 22, suddenly I found myself being swarmed by women. But it's not as great as it sounds. Now that two women are after my heart, that means I'm gonna have to turn one of them down. What a day. They're completely different types of girl. Hillary is bright and happy girl with a strong personality. She's a lot of fun to be around. Layla is more of a stylish and charming girl. A lot of guys would say she's the ideal woman. After spending a few days thinking, I made my choice. I decided to go out with Layla because of her feminine charm. She's the kind of girl that makes a man want to protect her. For long, we were deeply in love and spending almost every day together. And today, I'm taking her to my family's restaurant, Redmond's Diner. I'm gonna take it over someday. What is this place? It's falling apart. Wait a minute, Helen, what's going on here? What do you mean? This is my restaurant. Redmond's Diner. Are you serious? I thought that your family was running a five-star restaurant. <laughs> my family? Running a five-star restaurant? Where on earth did you get that idea from? Students at local colleges love it, though. I love this place, too. And one day, I'm gonna own it. No way. I think you're gonna like it, too, Layla. I don't believe this. I thought it was a five-star restaurant. Why else would I come dressed like this? I went out yesterday and bought these clothes especially for today. I even got a manicure and a pedicure. And now I find out this is where you're taking me? If I'd have known, I'd have come in a sweatshirt and yoga pants. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this is my family's restaurant. I'm sorry if I said anything that gave you the wrong impression. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. You must be Layla. It's so nice for you to come. Please sit down anywhere you'd like and make yourself comfortable. Hey, Mom! <sighs> well, I gotta say, she really fits in in this place. Look at her, she's not even wearing any makeup. I can barely even tell she's a woman. Hey! I suppose I'll go ahead and take a look around while I'm here. My gosh, this place is filthy. I can't believe this. People actually eat food here? For real? Look, Layla, you gotta understand. Good grief! Your customers all look like they're on their way back from meeting their parole officers. I feel like I'm in a prison cafeteria. Don't talk about our customers that way! And look, what's going on with these prices? I guess you get what you pay for. I bet your ingredients are all imported and filled with GMOs and pesticides. There's no way you could have prices this low if you actually use proper ingredients in your cooking. I'm never eating anything from this restaurant, ever. Layla, come on! And you're saying that you're gonna own this place someday? Why would you even want to? It's a rundown, unhygienic dumpster heap that's probably close to bankruptcy. I'd sooner burn the whole building to the ground than own it. Layla, please, stop! Don't you think you're being a bit too harsh? My great-grandpa started this restaurant, so I understand it may look old, but it's been in our family for generations. My mom handles all the cleaning, and she's a total neat freak. We renovated the whole kitchen last year. Everything is brand new. You can go take a look if you want. And besides, the thing that's the most important for us is the food's flavor. Sure, you could go to a restaurant with a fancy interior, designer dishware, or stylish exterior. We've built our reputation simply by making the best food around. It shows, too. We're always packed during the lunch hour. Once I graduate from college and take over the restaurant, I'm planning to rebuild it into a newer, larger building, put effort into advertising, and spread the word about my family's cooking to the whole city. The kind of people who would come to a restaurant like this wouldn't know what good food tastes like even if Gordon Ramsay came and shoved it down their throats. So congratulations on filling your store with a bunch of tasteless peasants. If you want to tear this place down and rebuild a bigger building, what would even be the point? To get 10 more people in here paying $5 for food that's barely mediocre? It's time you woke up and faced reality. Hey, Charity, you want to go out for lunch today? You won't believe what just happened to me. That was the most pathetic performance I've ever seen. Every single move you made was a miserable failure. What gave you the idea you even had a chance? You were way out of your league from the start. Come on, that's my fourth loss in a row. 
Man, winning feels so good. Sucks to be you, Alan. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, rub it in. <laughs> you got crushed. Okay, seriously? Are you really gonna gloat over beating me in Mahjong like this the day that my girlfriend dumped me? Don't be such a crybaby, Alan. Destroying your opponent when he's at his weakness is just the way of the world. Survival in the fittest and all that. He's right, Alan. Tell you what, next time I'll play with my eyes closed and one arm tied around my back. That would be fair for you. Haven't you insulted me enough for one day, Melanie? I'm having a crisis over here. Well then, you were in last place, Alan. You know what that means, don't you? Hold on, Alex. What are you going to do to him? Are you going to take his money? How much are you going to take? $100, $1,000, $10,000? Oh, I see. You're going to make him cook your dinner. That makes more sense. Wait, are you going to make him sit and watch us eat while he gets nothing? Don't be silly. We're all going to eat together. Dinner's ready. Finally. Oh, that doesn't seem like much of a punishment, but okay, I guess. Alan, your cooking is the best. I've never met anyone who cooks as well as you. So Layla just left you right there without eating anything? What was she thinking? She missed out on the best meal of her life. Well, I guess that's her loss. You should be grateful she broke up with you. You don't need a girl like her. Thanks. You guys are the best. I can always count on you to cheer me up. Oh no! Look at the time! I gotta go help mom at the diner. Hillary, what are you doing here? Hey, Alan, I heard the big news. Layla dumped you yesterday, didn't she? You think you could say that with a bit more delicacy? Why'd you have to go and open up those fresh wounds? <laughs> this is my big chance. I still haven't given up on you. Oh, no. First Layla, then Melanie, and now you? Alan, please give me a chance. I need you bad. I can't go on without you. I've never felt this way about anyone else before. You're the only guy in the entire world that I want. I can't wait for you any longer, so give me your answer right now. You really don't give up, do you? You know that I can't give you an answer on such an important question so quickly. Okay, well, how much time do you need to think about it? A day or two? Let me see. I want to talk to my mom first, and then I want to go visit my dad's grade to talk to him. How about a month? A month? That's way too long. Think about it, Alan. Think. I'm offering you the opportunity to be the chef at Kyoto Sunrise. Run a high-class Japanese restaurant frequented by celebrities, businessmen, politicians, and more. You'll be the next Gordon Ramsay. What on earth is there to think about? Thanks, Hillary. It really is a generous office that you're making, and I do seriously appreciate what you're trying to do for me. So please, let go of my neck! I can't breathe! What's going on here? He's already dating another girl? Unbelievable. I know I was the one that dumped him, but that gives him no right to date another girl so soon. Hey, Shane. Could you do me an itsy-bitsy little favor for me? Sure, babe. You know I'd do anything for you, Layla. So I was dating this total loser named Alan for a little bit, but I dumped him. But he must have gotten, like, super mad at me because he started spreading a bunch of nasty rumors about me all over town. Wait! That scrawny little pipsweak Alan is spreading lies about the most beautiful girl on campus? It's terrible, right? <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna kill that little punk! No one spread lies about my Layla! No, I don't want to kill him. That'd be going way too easy on him. I want him to suffer. Okay, then what do you want me to do to him? I know just the way we can punish him for what he did to me. We have to hit him where it hurts the most. We're going to destroy the Red Men Diner. But how can we do it without getting caught? What's this? Ammonia. Ammonia? It's ammonia. This is how we're going to get our revenge on Alan and destroy his restaurant. But how is this anomia going to help us do that? And what's core o mean? Ammonia is a chemical that's used for cleaning on other stuff, but it has a super strong smell, and that's what we're using it for. Campers sometimes spray this stuff in a circle around their tent to keep rodents, raccoons, deer, skunks, bears, and other animals away from their campsite. Animals hate the smell of ammonia, so when they get a whiff of it, they hightail it out of there. If you breathe it in too deeply, you'd probably puke and pass out. Wow, you're really smart, Shane. Thanks for helping me. Don't mention it, babe. Your enemies are my enemies. We'll pour some extra around the entrance. Wow, you're using a lot of that stuff. Do you need that much? If it dries too quickly, there won't be as much of an effect. So I want to cover as much area as I can to make sure the smell sticks. Well, Shane, you spent all that money for me? Pour a little over here, a bit more over here, some more over here. And now we watch while Alan's hopes and dreams are shattered in pieces. Serves him right. He deserves that and more for what he did. What the? 
<laughs> What's that smell? I think I'm gonna be sick. Is it coming from our diner? Maybe a stray cat peed on the sidewalk. It's way too strong for just a stray cat. We'll have to close the store for today while we figure out how to get rid of the smell. I guess we don't have a choice. Seriously though, what in the world is this smell? We spent all day cleaning around the diner, but no matter what we did, we couldn't get rid of the smell. It seemed like whatever the source of the smell was had seeped into the wooden paneling of our diner, and all the washing and scrubbing in the world wouldn't get rid of the smell. Obviously, our customers weren't too thrilled by the prospect of eating at a diner that smelled as badly as ours did. The loss of business was far too much for such a small business as ours to handle. Mom, I'm really sorry, but we have no choice but to close down the diner. I know we weren't planning on doing it for a few more years, but do you think we could rebuild the restaurant now? Alan, we don't have the kind of money we need to rebuild right now. I'm sorry. Could we go to the bank and take out a loan? We tried that before, and even back then, no bank would lend us enough money to keep the restaurant afloat. This can't be happening. With no other options on the table, we closed down the diner for the foreseeable future. This was too much for my mom to handle emotionally, and she fell into a deep depression. I could see why she would react that way. Fremont's diner was essentially like a memento of my dad's. Working at that restaurant was all my mom had to live for. And what was I supposed to do now? My entire life has been planned around one day taking over the family business. And now after all the work my mom and I put into all these years, the restaurant is closing. And to think that all this is because of that smell! Oh, hi, Alan. You're up bright and early, aren't you? Still trying to clean up your stinky restaurant? <laughs> is this really the super popular restaurant that I've been hearing so much about? Smells like a communal toilet for a herd of wild cats. Who in their right mind would come to a place that smells this bad? Actually, when I think about it, no one in their right mind would eat here even if it didn't smell like a litter box. <laughs> You got that right, Shane. All of their customers were a bunch of tasteless losers in the first place. Yuck. I need to start puking if I stay here any longer. Let's get out of here, Shane. Have fun in your litter box! Alan. Oh, great. Now you're here. What do you want? You here to rub it in, too? That's not at all, Alan. Then what is it? Are you going to try to use the collapse of my family business to try to get me to work at your restaurant again? Listen, Alan, I have no intention of giving up on recruiting you. But just so you don't get the wrong idea, I want to come right out and say that I'm not the one that did this to the Redmond Diner. I never suspected you to begin with. I thought you should know that night I was on my way to your diner to make one more shot at recruiting you. It was late at night and the restaurant was closed at the time, but when I got there, um... Actually, why don't I just show you? Take a look at this video. Video? You'll see. When I got there, they'd already been going at it for a while. The smell was so strong, I could even smell it from across the street. What the? This is Layla and Shane! They were the ones behind this? That means they just came by to gloat and see how well their plan had worked. They stole my family's restaurant from me! They stole my memories, my house, my job, everything! I'll get them for this! Trouble Busters! Oh, wow. What a surprise. Long time no see, Alan. Hey, Layla. It's good to see you. I don't know if you've heard, but I'm a model now. I'm working with a ton of big fashion brands. Yeah, I heard. You just got back in the country after finishing up that fashion show in France, didn't you? How'd it go? Oh, you've heard about that. Of course I have. I'm always checking Twitter and watching the news to see what you're up to, Layla. Oh my gosh, are you serious? After all this time, you're still in love with me. Uh, let's just say that you're a very special person to me. And there's no way that I'll forget about you for as long as I live. <laughs> so you do still love me. Wow, that's pretty sad. I hate to break it to you, Alan, but I would never go out with someone who works in a rundown greasy spoon like you. Oh wait, that's right, I forgot. You don't work anymore, do you? Your restaurant went out of business. Now that I think about it, isn't this the spot your restaurant used to be? Oh, so you remembered. That's a shock. It was only a matter of time before that place got shut down. I'm so glad I broke up with you. Well, you're kind of right. It did get shut down. <laughs> of course it did. So tell me, what are you doing now? Flipping burgers at some fast food restaurant? You mean you didn't know? The very restaurant we're in right now is my restaurant. What? Two years ago, Redmond's Diner went into an indefinite hiatus due to a sudden and bizarre incident involving an odd smell. After that, however, a certain someone came along. And with that person's overwhelming support, we joined the Crimson French restaurant chain. And we've been operating as a high-class French restaurant ever since. Are you serious? The Crimson French? The chain that's famous for having the finest and most authentic French cuisine in the world? That's the one! So like I said, I'm the owner and head chef of this restaurant. I don't believe you! There's no way you could have gone from being a chef at some crummy hole-in-the-wall diner to running a French restaurant in two years. It's the truth, though. Hillary, what are you doing here? 
This restaurant is the sister store to Kyoto Sunrise, the Japanese restaurant owned and operated by my father. Kyoto Sunrise? But that restaurant is famous for hosting all the wealthiest and most powerful people in the city. When Redmond's Diner fell into financial collapse, poor Alan here was at the brink of an emotional breakdown, and understandably so. I was terrified that he might even completely abandon his goal of becoming a successful entrepreneur. To be completely honest, I had half a mind to do just that until Hillary talked me out of it. My mom's health took a major turn for the worse. And although I had been resisting it for some time, I finally gave in to Hillary's persistent attempts at recruiting me to join her dad's company. I went into an apprenticeship at Kyoto Sunrise, and the rest is history. The deal I made with her dad was that I would first go through a 12-month training program at Kyoto Sunrise, and after that, I would go to work at another of their affiliated restaurants that had been underperforming. It was an incredibly intense two years that not only allowed me to hone my skills as a chef, but also as a businessman. Once Alan got to the restaurant, customers were immediately drawn by his top-notch cooking and vibrant personality. In just one year, Alan took that restaurant from being in the red to being a top three performer out of all of the affiliates. Because of Alan's stellar performance, my dad promised that he would offer his full support to the revival of Redmond's Diner. And that's how this restaurant, the Crimson French, came to be born from the ashes of Redmond's Diner. I've been under a lot of pressure, but it was all worth it. Support my mom, repay Hillary and her dad for believing in me, even when I didn't. See the smiles of the faces of my customers and show my appreciation to all of my friends and family who've stood by my side through thick and thin. All of this, thanks to them. And for the record, would you like to know how much Alan is earning right now? He is making 800000 a year, and he still has room to grow. With Alan's talent and personality, he could easily be making five to $10 million in a few years. 800,000? 5 million? 10 million? I knew you had it in you, Alan. I always thought that you had the potential to be a world class chef. This place's atmosphere is immaculate and the food is delicious. This is my favorite new restaurant. Thanks, Layla. You're welcome to come back anytime you'd like. Are you still mad at me for dumping you like that back in college? Well, that was an awfully big shock to me, but it's been so long, I'm not really all that mad anymore. I've been wanting to tell you for a long time, but I have a reason for breaking up with you. You see, ever since I was a little girl, my dream was to be a model. If I was ever going to make my dream come true, I had no choice but to break up with you and push myself to the limit. Around the time I broke up with you, I was going to auditions just about every other day. I was physically and emotionally exhausted. I was so lucky to have an amazing guy like you at my side to support me during such a difficult time. Well, I'm glad you were able to make your dreams come true. I had a dream too. I wanted to take over Redmond's Diner once I graduated from college, but that dream went up in flames thanks to that bizarre smell incident. Oh, that's too bad. I had no idea, honest. When I think about it, I was wrong to break up with you like that. You were so supportive of me chasing my dream. That's odd. I remember it completely differently. Didn't you break up with me because you hated Redmond's Diner? I seem to recall that the first time you visited, you said all of our customers looked like convicts. No, that's not true. I may have said that, but I didn't mean it, honest. You gotta believe me, Alan, I can explain. I needed to break up with you so that I could pursue my dream, but I couldn't think of any good excuse for it. So I had no choice but to make one up. I pretended to be a nasty, arrogant woman because I thought if I could get you to hate me, it would be that much easier for you to move on after we broke up. Huh, well, that certainly is an interesting story. If that was true, I sure wish you would have just said so at the time. I realize that now you're a super compassionate guy. You would have been understanding. I'm sorry for telling you such an awful lie to you. Alan, what was I thinking? I guess you can chalk it up to my youthful indiscretion. Alan, if you can find it in your heart to forgive me, would you give me one more chance? Before I answer that question, perhaps you could explain to me what exactly was going on in this video I have here. Going, Shane? Dump it all out. Cover every square inch of this dump heap. I hate this stupid, ugly, stinky restaurant. Most of all, I hate that scummy, low-down, no-good loser Alan. I'm gonna destroy him. H how did you get that? I can see both yours and Shane's faces pretty clearly. This will make a great piece of evidence. You've got no chance of winning, Layla. Evidence? Winning? What are you saying, Alan? Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna sue you, Layla. The statute of limitations for malicious destruction of property is three years. It's only been two years and ten months since you spread that ammonia at my restaurant. After consulting with my lawyer, he told me that we can pursue both civil charges and criminal charges at the same time. Civil? Criminal? Statute of limitations? I don't know what any of those words mean. It's a great thing we made it in time, huh, Alan? I could have taken this video to the police right away when Hillary showed it to me at the time. But if I did, the only thing that would have happened is you getting kicked out of school. That's nowhere near enough of a punishment for what you did to me and my mom. Oh no, I don't like the sound of this. So I decided I wouldn't wait until your life was going great and you were on your way up. 
to set off this ticking time bomb and blow all your dreams to pieces. My lawyer said there's a pretty good chance you serve hard prison time for what you did. No, it wasn't my idea. It was all Shane's idea. He came up with it all on his own. I was only watching. I didn't do anything. Look at the video. You can see I didn't even touch a single bottle. Sure, Shane was the one who directly dumped the ammonia, but you were clearly the one who was giving him instructions to do so. You were cheering him on in the video, weren't you? I hope you don't think a childish excuse like that would stand up in a court of law. Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna throw your life straight into the bowels of hell. Enjoy your dinner tonight. It may just be your last as a free woman. Tell you what, go ahead and order anything you like. It's on the house. I'll more than make up for it with how much I'm gonna sue you for. Oh, and by the way, don't worry. I didn't forget about Shane. I'm gonna sue him right after I'm done destroying you. Ellen, please, if word gets out about this, my career as a model will be over. I'm begging you, please forgive me. I'll do anything you want, anything. Just please don't sue me, please. Not a chance, Layla! Did you think I would let you go so easily after what you did to me? Are you out of your mind? No, my dream, my life, my fame, my money! Now you know how it feels to have your life crumble beneath your feet! It's been almost three years since that day, but the pain in my heart over what you did to Redman's Diner, my mom, and me is still as strong as it ever was! At the criminal trials for Layla and Shane, the jury took very seriously how they had conspired to destroy both my home and my family's business, and they both received hard prison sentences. At the civil trial, they were both found liable for compensatory damages, as well as punitive damages to me and my family. The judge ordered them to pay a hefty total of $660,000. No! Layla was released from prison after serving her three-year sentence, but her time behind bars had made her almost unrecognizable. Her lustrous skin had gone dull. She gained 30 pounds and lost all the appeal that had brought her success as a model. Having lost her only means of income she ever had, she had to find some way to pay back the $660,000 she owed. But with a criminal record, she had a hard time finding any gainful employment. So I can't see anything but hardships for her in the future. Shane had similar troubles after getting out, so he had to turn to a life of crime. He got mixed up with a group of people perpetrating a wire fraud scheme and was arrested again a few months later. But enough about them. Here's how I'm doing now. Ellen, please. I can't get you out of my head. You're all I can think about. What is it this time? Let's get married. You know fully well I can't make a decision like that so lightly. What? Why not? Uh, oh boy, here we go again. You know, when I think about it, me and Hillary might actually be a pretty good couple. Oh yeah, I've got one more piece of good news. After bringing me into his company as his apprentice and then his family as his son-in-law, Hillary's dad agreed to provide his full support for my newest venture, a revival of Redmond's Diner. My mom was so happy when she heard the news that she instantly made a full recovery. So now, anytime you stop by Redmond's Diner, you'll always hear my mom's cheerful voice saying, Welcome, come on in. Trouble Busters!